Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be talking you through the KET registration process. So the first thing is to create an account with us if you don't already have one. Um, to do that, you go to account and then click on register. So you'll notice the form here has got your first and your last name. It's not compulsory to give us your actual first and last name, so you can call it, you can call yourself whatever you want, um, but please do give us your real email address, one actual email address, the valid one, because we will be confirming that as part of the registration process. Another thing to note um, is that you need to agree our privacy policy. Please have a read through that. Um, and then you'll have to agree that before you can register. So once you've got your account with us, um, the next step is to sign in um, with that account. To illustrate how to do this, I'm going to be logging in with my own account. So once you're logged in, you can go to Samples Register Kit. Okay, so the first thing to do is enter your kit ID. Um, you can find this on the outer edge of your kit. Um, which is um, starting with BS um, for biome site, and then we've got batch one hyphen. Uh, my one is GNU13, so I'm entering that. So some of you might have received your collection kits from your clinicians, in which case at this point um, it might prompt you to make the payment um, so you can then just follow the instructions and, 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 uh, and pay. Um, for the kit before you proceed at this point. So the sample collection date, please fill in the actual date um, that you collected your sample. The next thing to do is to complete the Bristol school, school scale. Um, you can follow the link there to get more information. I've got that open, so I'll quickly run through that. So type 1 is when you constipate, type 7 is, is quite um, excessive diarrhea. Um, normally it will be somewhere along the range. Please choose the one that's most appropriate for you. Um, the next thing is to fill in how regular you are. Um, yeah, just choose the one that's most appropriate. And then any notes that you want to make. Let's say you were taking um, a specific uh, prebiotic. You could enter that, for example, you might be taking from you know, and then um, you've got again the same privacy policy that you have to agree to. Um, the next step then is to just go ahead and submit that. Um, to check whether we've got your registration, um, you'll see here um, the one that I've just registered. It's in status registered, um, and I've got the kit ID there. So what happens next is you, you post the sample. Um, we'll send you an email as soon as we've received it. Um, it'll go into status sample received. Um, the next step after that is if you send it directly to the lab, they may um, they, they process it once a week. If you've sent it to us in the UK, we'll send it over to the lab. We do that once a week on a Thursday. Um, lab starts processing on a Monday, and your results are normally available by the Saturday. Um, so if you've sent your kit to us in the UK, you can normally expect to get your results back within one to two weeks. Um, if you've sent it directly to the lab, if you're in the US or Canada, once we've confirmed receipt, again, it's about one to two weeks. Um, yeah. So that's it. Um, please don't hesitate to get in touch if you've got any questions about this process at all. Thank you so much.